How we doing, everybody? Oh, it's great to be here. Um, we have had a very nice but very long weekend with family, so I am excited to just kick back, crack open a seltzer, and play some video games. Um, decided to go back to Yu-Gi-Oh! today. We didn't play it last week. We only streamed twice, um, so I just stuck with Emerald, but we are playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Worldwide Edition, Stairway to the Destined Duel. Such a long title. Um, we have the Kaibas here, and we have Rex Raptor. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give Rex Raptor a go to begin with. Uh, let's see, your dinosaur deck is 100 times more powerful. I don't know about that, homie. Um, but we are here. Um, it is a happy day. Um, we got back into town about 5.30-ish. Um, and yeah, like I said, nice long weekend with family. It was good, but I'm happy to be back. Um, can do some fun stuff this week. Um, but what else? Uh, we're going to be happy to take this attack from Two-Headed King Rex. The Two-Headed King Rex was kind of like Rex Raptor's signature uh, signature card back in the day. Um, we're just going to bring this Summon Skull in here to destroy it. Ugh. Excuse me. Summon Skull is just one of the best cards you can possibly get. Just 2,500 for one tribute is so good. Um, oh, the other day... Oops, I was going to set that down. The other day, I actually saw um, someone on Instagram. They had, like, flash tattoos. Um, and they specifically had some of some Yu-Gi-Oh characters, like uh, Summon Skull and whatnot, and I thought it was really, really awesome. I wish I could remember their name so I could shout them out, but... It was really, really sick. But let's see. Crawling Dragon number two. <laughs> Not very specific. Doesn't really have its own personality, but it's gonna be good for our purposes. Also, that creature was horrible. It, like, was opening up its stomach to... Uh, eat, which I don't know if y'all have ever seen Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I assume if you're watching this, you at least have a passing interest in anime. <laughs> um, let me play Grateful Charity here. Um, but that card reminds me of something from Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Uh, we'll discard Penguin Soldier, that's fine. Um, we're staying, we are going hard here, folks. Rex is not really standing a chance currently. Okay, good. You just never want to see those effect flips. Oh, wait, no. Continue battle phase. Good. I almost just destroyed this whole turn. But Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, one of my favorite shows of all time. Um, it is amazing. I fully, fully recommend it. It's funny, though, because I actually have not seen the original Full Metal Alchemist. Hmm. I'll go ahead and play a negate attack. I'll just completely destroy you. And you know what, while I'm at it, let's just play Monster Reborn. And we'll bring in the old Dark Magician that I discarded with Graceful Charity. That's a nice combo as well. Um, and a lot of times when I do Graceful Charity, you will see me discard like a two tribute monster like Dark Magician or like Buster Blader or something. Um, so that way I can just bring it back out with the Monster Reborn, baby. I will be excited. Ooh, I need to look at my little cheat sheet. Because I did mark down what some of the packs have, like some of the good cards that they have. Hey, what's up, PM Dub? Um, good to see you today. Um, okay, and I know we can get some good cards out of the Dark Magician pack, so I'm going to keep trying. Ah! Look at this. Look at this meager, pathetic spread. This is maybe the worst pack of Yu-Gi-Oh cards that's ever been opened. Maybe the worst ever. Um, oh, you haven't seen the Yu-Gi-Oh streams. Oh, very fun. Well, welcome. Um, it's, re it's a really nice change of pace. I love it. Obviously, they're not as popular as the Pokemon streams, but, I mean... 
I'm having a great time, baby. Let's see. Oh, we have not beaten Mako Tsunami. I did not know we lost. Hold on, but let me mark this. We are now 17 and 7 is our record. There we go. Welcome, PM Dub. All right, so I don't remember how we lost to Mako last time. Oh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I really, really had a big misclick. So Mako uses this field card, Umi. Um, it is like, you know, an ocean card, even though I learned recently that in Japanese, Umi actually means beach, um, at least according to Duolingo. Let's see. Let's end with over 20 wins for show. Oh, we are absolutely going to end with over 20 wins. Um, I do not know if Pale Beast is going to be able to destroy this, especially in the water. It's even. But now... Oh, wait, no. It just still doesn't have the attack, so that's fine. I'm fine with that. Worst things have happened. Uh, let's see. Yes, I was hoping he would do that, because now I can destroy his Amphibian Beast with my Trap Hole. Amphibian Beast is probably the strongest card he has in his deck, so that was really great to have the Trap Hole down. Mm. Let's see. Because he also has a really nice card, the Legendary Fisherman. Um... I actually don't remember the effect of the Legendary Fisherman. It's really good. Um, I think it has to do with teaming up with Umi. Um, but that is really the other, like, key card in Mako's deck. Okay, Seven Colored Fish. That is still not... I'm uh, not the good! <laughs> uh, we don't want that. And I can't do that. Okay. Yeah, so we don't want to do that. No? Alright, so we're going to lose our Pale Beast, and that is fine for now. Okay. I... Hmm. Mystical Space Typhoon could be great to destroy Umi here. I'm actually going to do that because I can use Royal Decree to negate a trap card if I need to. Perfect. Um, no. So here we go. Yes, I have my, I got my combo ready. And I can get Dark Magician Girl out and we're going to destroy the seven colored fish with it. Ha ha ha. Perfect. Alright, so Torrential Tribute actually would have destroyed my Dark Magician Girl and his Seven Colored Fish. Um, but we want to keep our Dark Magician Girl out. So we're doing great right now. We've had two very fortuitous trap cards. He's got another freaking Umi. Um, not yet. Because I think my Royal Decree can negate his magic cards, um, including his Umi, but I don't think I want to do it quite yet. I actually don't know what he's got going here. Penguin Soldier. That is brutal, because now it goes back to our hand. Probably, at least I do have that negate attack for when he inevitably tries to attack our life points this turn. Oh yeah, crazy fish. That's not too bad with Umi up. But we'll negate it. Oh, dang it! <laughs> oh, crap. I forgot. That negates our trap cards too. Oh no. Oh no. That's not good. Okay. So, we're doing fine. I... Alright, I'll stick. It does sound bad, and it is. I messed up. I messed up big. Um, so I'm going to save that Fisher for a rainy day here, especially if he decides to... Uh, sacrifice one or two of those monsters. Um, and plus, Mystical Elf is going to wall both of these cards. 
so we're actually doing okay. Giant Soldier of Stone won't, however, because... <laughs> mistakes happen, even in Yu-Gi-Oh! Even in the high-stakes world of Yu-Gi-Oh! Mistakes happen. It's true. It's very true. Alright, let's see what my Dark Magician Girl can do again. I'm gonna get rid of the WoW Warrior, so that way... Because the way Fisher works, um, it's a very powerful card. It um, will destroy the face-up monster on your opponent's side of the field with the lowest attack. Um, but in many cases, you want to get it to the where your opponent only has one face-up monster on the field. Um, and then you can destroy whatever that monster is. It could be the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, and that's still, you know, the weakest monster on the field. Um, so that's kind of the deal with Fisher. I, I'm hoping... Yes. Uh, that is not good, because that's still going to kill Dark Magician Girl. But, it is nice that I will be able to... Oh, I can bring in a crazy fish of my own! I love it! So now that it's the only card, I can get rid of that very powerful card with my Fisher, and I can use his Umi against him with my crazy fish. <laughs> Every single time, I just want to go, I said, hey! You're a crazy fish, but you fish so good. Yeah. I don't know if uh, any of our younger viewers will know that song. Dang it! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, giant red sea snake. That is basically the equivalent of seven colored fish. Oh, total defense shogun. This would be awesome. I'm just not going to be able to get it onto the field. <laughs> you fish so good, I'm on top of it. Mm -hmm. That's exactly it. Oh, no. Okay, Aqua Snake is not as bad. Can I play Backup Soldier? Sure. Oh, guys! I did it again. <laughs> oh, I keep forgetting that I'm negating my own trap cards. Oh, no. Okay, so we're doing bad right now. I can't believe I might lose to Mako again. And if he attacks me with Giant Red Sea Snake first, that's gonna be bad. Please don't attack me with Giant Red Sea Snake first, and you did. Because Giant Soldier of Stone gets weakened in the... Oh, it doesn't! I thought it got weakened in the water. That's amazing. Okay, so it still is able to wall things off a little bit. Get rid of you. Oh, Giant Trunade could be very helpful, and that could get my own Imperial Order off of, uh, or Royal Decree off of the board. Um, okay. Hmm. <laughs> Just give me a little more, def uh flexibility here, but we'll see. Okay. This is interesting. I don't really know what's going to happen here, kids. Giant Red Sea Snake is also bad, but I'm pretty okay with it. I mean, this doesn't do anything. Um, because our total defense Shogun is going to be able to block that off. Get a couple, get 500 life points off. Funny enough, Torrential Tribute there would have been amazing. <laughs> um, yeah, we're kind of in a holding pattern here. I mean, I could get rid of Total Defense Shogun, but I don't really want to. And I want to hold on to Karibo. So let's get rid of Aqua Snake for now. This is a tough one. Uh, things can get kind of tough with Mako. Um, mm. Thank you for saying... Oh, thank you, PMW. Um, and th thank you for saying you would help me if you could. Um, Alright, I can take out both of those giant red sea snakes now, now that they're in defense mode. 
That was actually very helpful of him to get put those in defense mode for me. Perfect. Great. Okay. That giant true nade will be great to get his Umi off the field. I'm very angry that he has two and another seven color freaking fish. Um. No. Ah, and there is his legendary fisherman. I actually don't remember what legendary fisherman does. Um, and we, I'm actually gonna read what it does. Cause it is a really cool card. I mean, it looks a lot like Mako. Um, when Umi is face up on the field, this card is unaffected by any magic card and cannot be attacked by your opponent's monsters. That is crazy and also really cool. Um, so I'm probably going to have to do, oh, actually, no, we're going to be fine. Here we go. We're going to bring in Yami, because when you play a field card of your own, it actually discards, um, the other field card. And I don't want to lose Total Defense Shogun, but Summon Skull will actually get a buff from my Yami and I can use it to destroy Legendary Fisherman. Excellent. So now all I gotta do is keep my boy on the field for maybe another turn or two, and we should be okay. But we'll see. It's always a, a risky proposition here. Oh, I wish Karibo had more attack. That'd be so funny. Um, let's see. You survive another turn, Tsunami. <laughs> Alright. Oh, this is shaping up to be a real epic battle here. Alright. If I draw any card with more than 550 attack that I can actually play, um, I can just use Dark Hole and just clear out the field and win. But until then, I am <laughs> biding my time. I'm gonna speed up a little bit, actually. Because all he can do is play defense mode. Multiply, this could be good with my Karibo, but I'll just set it for now. So I'll just complete my turn, it's fine. <laughs> I just keep drawing cards that I can't play. Um, not even going to attack. Because then some weird stuff can happen, you know? There we go. So now I can play my Dark Hole. And while it does destroy my Summon Skull, that doesn't really matter. Because I can just bring out Dynamis Dark Witch. And it doesn't matter that this <laughs> decreases her attack power. Still has enough. They're coming for the win. Mm. Perfecto. All right, very happy to get that win against Mako. We are now 18 and seven, especially because I didn't realize we didn't beat him the first time. Um, all right, my little cheat sheet. Let's see, we can do the Graceful Charity Pack. Um, those are pretty solid. Um, <laughs> There are a lot of packs on here that have cards that we can't do yet. Um, let's go with the Graceful Charity one for now. Oh, there's Total Defense Shogun again. That's just not really what we want to see. Oh, that can nullify Monster Reborn. That's cool. Um, let's see. Have we beaten Yugi? We have not. All right, let's try to beat Yugi. Get a nice little challenge. Because I don't know if we... I think we beat Kaiba the last time we... Uh, we were streaming Yu-Gi-Oh! Ooh. It's got a lovely little... setup here. Let's... Let's wait on the Penguin Soldier. I'll just start with the Giant Rat in Defense Mode. Yeah, I figured he'd start with a Magnet Warrior. Yu-Gi really loves his Magnet Warriors. 
Um, yes. But this will let me get a giant soldier out onto the field without threat of being killed. Um, and that's actually really good to wall some of his four-star monsters. Um, I'll actually put him in defense mode and we'll bring in our Dark Witch. Yeah, because you have Gamma, Alpha, and Beta, the Magnet Warrior. On their own, they're not that great. Beta has 1,700 attack, which is good. Um, but they can combine to form a, an extremely powerful monster. Um, oh. Ah, the classic Monster Reborn just to, <laughs> just to tribute it again. Very funny. Okay. I'll take that, though. Him wasting his Monster Reborn. Um, hmm. I think Dark Hole is going to be worth it here just to get it off the field. Um, and then I can. I'll bring in Gazelle. Because we still have our Penguin Soldier there if we need to send something back to his hand. Um, that can be really nice, because he's probably going to come up with, like, a Gemini Elf or something. But not yet. Um, all of the Magnet Warriors have pretty good attack. Love to see Trap Hole there. Um, bring in Crawling Dragon for now. Um, I know Yugi in the show, um, at least in the first season... Maybe in both seasons. Ah, Magician of Faith. There's his Monster Reborn back. That's actually really good for him. Um, because he can bring his Sun Skull back, of course. Magician of Faith is a card that we're going to want um, at some point. Uh, but Yugi famously has Mystical Elf in his deck, and he famously has... Uh, whatchamacallit? Giant Soldier of Stone in his deck. But I don't know if he does in this game. Because this more follows closely to, like, the Battle City arc of things. Um, that is not what I expected him to do. Um, he almost used my patented uh, change of heart strategy against me. Ugh, I hate Cyberjar. Well, at least I still have some monsters in attack mode. help. Oh, boy. Uh, sure, can I do trap hole? No, I can't. Can I do backup soldier? Sure, let's do it. Yes. Um, no. There's some things from my hand that I will not be able to play. Um, okay, and here's where things get weird. Because in main phase two here, you can just play different monsters, or different cards. Usually they're going to be magic or trap cards, because you usually play your monster cards in main phase one. Now, I can't change her attack position, so she's about to just get destroyed by these two cards here. Um, no, but I think I do... I did have a negate attack. Yes. Love to see that. Perfecto. Now, the card he probably just put down that I saw was Magic Cylinder. And that card is crazy good. <laughs> Um, I might be able to destroy that. I'll go for it, actually. And he might not use Magic Cylinder here. Okay, he, went, he decided to. So what it does is that it takes the attack that I'm doing and directs it back at me. So I take 1,600 points of damage, which is really bad. <laughs> really, really bad. But I figure better with Fairy of the Fountain than something else. Um... There's another Magnet Warrior. 
Um, I'm gonna save my trap hole actually for when he plays a stronger monster. Like here, I'm gonna send Beta and I'm gonna send uh, the Gemini Elf back to his hand. So neither of them can attack, which is great. Um, but when they do, when he does decide to play them again, then I do still have that trap roll um, ready to go. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm really afraid of his face down card. <laughs> I could have gotten Monster Reborn going there, but... I guess we did get the Cyber Jar out of the way. I don't know if he would ever have two of those. Um, let's see, there's that Gemini Elf, and that's why we saved our Trap Hole, baby. And there you have it. Okay. So I might mount a little bit of an offensive here. You know what? I'm going to. I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to go for it, baby. No. And I'm going to play my Monster Reborn. I'm going to get his Summon Skull. Where is it? There it is. Boom. <laughs> going for the win here, kids. Let's do it. Um, and even if he pulls out a... Let's see what this is. Okay, that's fine. Um, even if he pulls out, like, a horrifying magic card. Like, change of heart wouldn't be, like, the most devastating thing. But even if he has, like, a trap hole or something. Not trap hole, dark hole. To destroy everything that I have built over here, I do still have my magic jammer. So let's see. Oh, that's nothing. That's fine. We don't care about that. Easy. Easy peasy. Basically just through the fight. Because now, I am so surprised that this fairy of the fountain stayed alive, but you know what? She is a strong woman. She is a strong, strong woman. So now we destroy Beta. Fairy of the Fountain brings us home, baby! Mm. That is a big win against Yugi. Um, I love that. 19 and 7 now. Um, perfect. Alright, so now... I'm gonna try... Maybe I can try a different pack. Because um, there are a couple really good cards that we're gonna want from other sets. A couple of those we can still open. Let's try to open our Red Eyes pack, because there are a few key cards here that we, can, that we can get. Still don't get it. Look at this attack and defense. 1380 and 1930. That's so weird. Um, destroys one trap card on the field. If this card's target is face down, flip it face up. Uh, if it's a trap card, it's destroyed. If not, it is returned to its face down position. It's not very good at all. <laughs> We're not happy to see it, but it's okay. Um, let's see. We were able to, to defeat Bakora last time. Let's get to our next Duelist Weekly here. Um, I actually don't know what, what rather, the uh, criteria is to kind of get you going in your next part of your journey. I think you might just have to earn a certain number of cards. But here we were able to pick up a second Dunabas Dark Witch, which is wonderful. We want that. Alrighty. There you are. Let's put you to our main deck. And we can probably get rid of something over here. That Pale Beast. I'm thinking. It's gonna go back to the trunk. You served us well, Pale Beast. Thank you, sir. All right, so now we got a couple more challengers. I don't know if we've been able to beat Joey yet. Yeah, we're still 0-2. Let's uh, let's try to get some get some revenge on some of our uh, rivals here. There we go. 
<laughs> All right. Let's see. Trap hole is great. Ugh. Giant Soldier of Stone in defense mode with a trap hole behind it. That is like, mm, classic first turn, baby. I love it. I love it. All right, Goblin Attack Force. Goodbye. Even though he just has tons and tons and tons of overpowered four-star monsters. That's going to make our lives horrible. But I can get rid of this little guy there. What was this card? Ah, Mirror Force. That would have destroyed all of our attack position monsters on the field, which would have been horrible. And for now, we're going to keep uh, our Giant Soldier of Stone in defense mode. because we might be able to wall some things. If he has, you know, Zam Zambira the Dark, um, or if he's got, you know, another Goblin Attack Force, he'll be able to destroy it, but that's okay. Um, I actually don't know what Joey has to put in defense mode like this. Maybe it's a tricky, a tricky monster. No, it's Panther Warrior. Oh yeah, because Panther Warrior can't attack without a tribute. Well, he's about to get one. And he'll probably use that to destroy... Ooh. Nope, just going for the Summon Skull. Just a classic. <laughs> oh no, we don't need to do that. I'm saving that Karibo for a rainy day. Karibo is just such a classic Yugi monster. Um, because... It really gets him out of a lot of tight jams. Yes, so we're gonna get that Summon Skull back to his hand, which is awesome. Um, and you know what? I will go on the offensive here. Um, everybody loves to dunk on Yugi because Karibo is just this cute little furball that can't do a thing, but you know what? It actually has great defensive capabilities, and it saves him more than once. Specifically in the first season of the anime, Karibo is like primo. I was about to say, what is he going to elect to destroy? Yes, my penguin soldier. That's all right. Again, rainy day, Karibo. Rainy day. I would love to be able to get this Buster Blader back out with a Monster Reborn or something. Both of those, actually. Ah, multiply! So again, that's gonna come in great handy if we need it. And again, just... That's a lot of kind of like what the meta of this game is, is just having those strong four-star monsters. Because Axe Raider with 1,700 is great, but that 1,800, 1,900, just getting that couple extra hundred so you can get up over it is just so key. Um... I'm gonna just destroy my giant soldier, looks like. That's fine. Okay. Um, this is actually gonna work, kids. Because I can use my giant true nade to get all the magic and trap cards off of the field for this turn. I can play my boy giant soldier of stone next to my seven colored fish. And when Seven Colored Fish destroys his alligator sword, Giant Soldier of Stone can bring us home. Mmm! Awesome! This is the revenge stream! Yugi, see ya! Mako, see ya! Joey, goodbye! Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, so now we're actually up to 20 and 7 is our official record. Um. And I'm hoping we can keep the good times rolling. I am just going to stick with the Dark Magician pack because there are two cards out of here that we need <laughs> to get. Um, and even though they're very rare, um, uh, Legendary Sword is not that. Uh, oh, Yugi, this, this card's funny. Um, Yugi had a Mammoth Graveyard in his deck in the first season. 
and he used it to destroy the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon in like super stupid made up ways that don't exist in the real game at all. Um, but it was great theater for the show. Um, well, all right. We have got to try to get this stupid uh, Dark Magician pack. I want to fight someone easy. <laughs> Because I would love to pull that card today. Let's let's do Mokuba, even though I cannot, I cannot believe um, this is what I was talking about. Sometimes when you challenge Mokuba and he's in the same spot as Kaiba, Kaiba will show up and duel you instead. I was saying this last stream, but this it actually happened today. <laughs> um... But the same will happen if you try to fight Kaiba with, when Mokuba's there. I guess it needed to be, we needed to be a little further along in the game for it to happen. But now I'm mad because we're fighting Kaiba. <laughs> and Kaiba's really good. And I have no cards to play! I do have Mechanical Chaser, but he is just going to destroy that immediately. So I'm straight up just not going to play a card. Not going to play a card. I'm going to let him make the first move. It's fine. He's going to attack me. But then he's going to have to go into defense mode. See? Alright. Because then, he would have just destroyed my mechanical chaser. I mean, I don't know what would have been better. <laughs> but, you know what? I had no good- I had no great moves there. Alright. And I actually don't know if this Yami will power up any of the monsters in his deck or not. Um, because Mechanical Chaser is super good. I don't know, because he probably has a Vorse Raider in his hand. Oh, a Gemini Elf. Oh, it gets a buff from Yami. That's cool. That's cool. Um, this is going great. <laughs> oh, boy. That helps nothing. Oh, we're not getting the draws here, kids. We might just have to take an L here. Because sometimes you just don't get the draw. Like, Joey, I feel like, got a really bad draw against us last time. Um, and now Kaiba is just... I mean... This is truly a trouncing. I drew no cards I could play! <laughs> uh, I'm just going to use Monster Reborn to get... Oh, I'll get his Goblin Attack Force. It's gonna get destroyed next turn, but I can use it to destroy his, uh, whatchamacallit, his Gemini Elf. I'm not completely screwed yet. I mean, he's probably got a monster card that he can play to follow up. Um, anything else? No. That's pretty much it. Yep. Second Vorse Raider. I figured he'd have one. Oh, guys. That was an absolute trouncing. Absolute trouncing. We're now seven. Uh, 20 and 8. Hated that. Hated that. Wow! A hearty laugh from the little mean guy. Kaiba. Try not to curse in these streams. Uh, there we go. I was about to say, Mokuba, you better show up, dude. <laughs> you gotta bail me out of here. Kaiba just destroyed us. Oh, that's funny. All right. Okay. Okay. We're, we got this now. As long as... I'm gonna be ready. Just in case he decides he wants to pull out the Blue Eyes Ultimate Freaking Dragon strats. Because I think he only has one regular card that can destroy a giant rat. Oh, I thought it was this card. I thought it had 1,600. It actually doesn't. Um, oh, yeah. Mm, this is going to be tasty. It is just always tasty. Give me that. And then... Add insult to injury. Or add injury to insult, I suppose. All right. So now, really what I want to do is I want to try 
to get these cards that I want to pull out of the Dark Magician pack. Um, cause I want you guys to see them. And this is what a battle with Mokuba is supposed to look like. I still cannot believe he pulled that strategy on us. Um, gosh, that was insane. And for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, um, Seto Kaiba, who we just got destroyed by, um, he can use this special card, Cyberstein, that will get the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, like the strongest attack monster in the game, basically, onto the field instantly. And I thought that only the older Kaiba had it, but Mokuba has it apparently as well. He must use it very rarely, but holy crap, he destroyed us with it. Um... All right, more Dark Magician. This La La Lion? Come on, man. It's a weak little thundercloud. You're killing me with this. All right, I'm just gonna <laughs> keep fighting Mokupa. Because <laughs> I want to pull this card. Um, and when you need cards, baby, mm. Mokuba is great. <laughs> uh, I always say I don't want to abuse him just because he's so easy to abuse most of the time. But, you know, we'll set you. Goodbye. And yeah, again, unless he does his crazy thing, he's not really going to be able to get over a Crawling Dragon number two. Um, but yeah, if you, uh, I hope you folks are excited for your week. I'm excited for my week. Um... My wife is actually going out of town, and I have to, I have to do a few things. So I'll be I'll be bacheloring it for a while. I think I'm gonna see some friends. Um, it'll be nice just to kind of entertain me while the wife is away. Boo -doo -doo -doo. Boo -doo 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 -doo. But again, for me, it's the summertime, so I am excited to do all of the productive things that I could not do when I was working. Um, and part of it is uh, doing this with you guys. I really, really love doing this. This has been super fun um, tonight. Uh, like I said, I really just wanted to... Uh, unwind after this weekend and this is really really helping me do it it's great oh no so that's time wizard um that is a card that joey often uses <laughs> that's so funny um it's a card Joey often uses. What it does is you can flip a coin. If you call it correctly, um, or if it's heads, I think. Or if you call it correctly. It destroys all the monsters on your opponent's side of the field. So he called it twice in a row, which is insane. <laughs> um, but if you call it wrong, it destroys the monsters on your side of the field and um, does, I think, life point damage equal to half of the attack that was destroyed, basically. Um, so if he, like, calls it and dies and loses, then he will lose. But now I have nothing to play. Gosh. This is so funny. I have never, ever, ever, had this much trouble with Mokuba before, but it's okay, because we got our Dark Witch. We're fine. We can destroy that pesky Time Wizard. That was a huge joke. You are kidding me. <laughs> uh, that was a huge Joey card, was the Time Wizard. I don't know if I said that. Um, 
he would use it to really bust him out of bust him out of some jams. And of course, uh, Joey usually always called the time wizard correctly because he had plot armor on him. You know, you know how that goes. But it turns out he was just delaying the inevitable. We were able to claim our victory yet. Come on, let's see it. Here it comes. Still nothing. I really can't believe we have not found it yet. Um, this is an urgent announcement for all participating duelists. There have been several reported incidents of car robberies occurring in various parts of the city. We ask that you be careful. Reports indicate that members of the ghouls are hidden among passerby. We ask that you exercise extreme caution when moving from area to area. A package containing rare cards will be awarded to anyone cooperating in the arrest of these culprits. We thank you in advance for your cooperation. So this is super cool. Um, what happens here is when you talk to passerby, you can get challenged by these mysterious uh, rare card hunters. And there are several of them in the game, and when you defeat all of them, you get the chance to progress further. Um, and defeating one will get us a pack of really, really good cards. So we do want to defeat one, but the thing is, if we lose to one, they will take one of the rarest cards from our deck, which we don't want, of course. Um, I think they will often take a Dark Magician, though, and we have two of those, so that's okay. Um, so I'm going to talk to a pass passenger. Often this is where you will find the ghouls when you talk to a passenger. And you'll be able to tell if we don't see a text box. Let's see. This is going to be one. If you wish to avoid pain, leave behind a rare card. We are Loomis and Umbra. There is no way you can defeat our combined powers. Love these guys. They're not one of the better ones, but they could still totally beat us at this point in the game. Okay. Let's see how we do. They have a great little arc in the anime, do Loomis and Umbra. I really like the duel. Um, let's see. So let's see. I'd love to see a couple. Ooh, I'd love to see that. Um, so the negate attack and mystical elf to begin. I am great with that. Slate Warrior, I don't love it. It's like they know not to attack sometimes. I hate that. That I hate. That's really stupid. Um, this one is magic cards. This one is... Oh, yeah, if they have the face down monsters. I'll just hold on to that for now. I'll play my magic gym. All right, let's see. Okay, I figured they would have something to tribute. Um, I might just kind of want to draw it out. Let's see. Do, 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 do. I actually do want to do this because... Alright. I got one little thing, but now we can see what this is. And, great thing! Um, using that card negates the flip effect of Magician of Faith. Um, but this is... Oh, a Saber Slasher. This is a horrible tribute monster. I'm very surprised they have one, honestly. Um, okay, so for this, I'm actually going to play my Fairy of the Fountain. Um, because it will destroy this, and if that trap card is terrible, it's not... Okay. That's not the worst thing to ever happen. Um... I was just saying, if that trap card was, like, really bad for me, that's not, that, like, the risk is kind of mitigated there a little bit. Uh, oh, Mask of Brutality. No, that's okay. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe I did want to use my Magic Jammer there, but I'm going to wait. Let's see. I might be overthinking things, I don't know. 
Okay, okay. So they have to pay a thousand life points to keep this on this monster. I didn't realize it was a thousand life points. That is crazy. Um, but for now, we're going to keep Fairy of the Fountain in attack mode. That'll kind of... Okay. We'll just destroy that for now. Ooh, this is tense, folks. Um, because I really, really want to gain the pack of cards that you can get. Ooh, but Imperial Order, this will negate magic cards. So, that will negate his mask of brutality. So now he can't destroy my Fairy of the Fountain. That's awesome. I do want to pay for now. Um... Oh, dang it! Crap! <laughs> oh, I keep doing it to myself! Um, Alright. So, let's see. So, once I get this off the field, I might get rid of my Imperial Order. So, that way I can use magic cards of my own. And... I won't have to pay the life points. What this Mask of Darkness is much like Magician of Faith, um, where you can get back a magic card that you have used already, but for Mask of Darkness, you can get back a trap card. That's the only difference, really. Okay. Um, no, I don't. Okay, Magic Jammer. I... That was stupid, probably, but let's see. <laughs> I'm really just kind of protecting myself against Mirror Force here. Okay, Mask of Weakness. Still destroyed it, but he's going to get the Mask of Brutality back. So now he'll probably be able to destroy my Dunamis Dark Witch that's in defense mode. Oh my gosh. But I've got my Magic Jammer. Oh, I'm really glad I held on to it. Um, we're not likely to use Dark Magic Ritual. You're often not. I, I like to have one Ritual card in my deck, but you're just not likely. It's just not likely that you're going to be able to use it. Um, let's just stick with this for now. Because, again, I do not know what this trap card is. Maybe another Mask of Weakness? Yes. That's fine. Because we can still destroy you with this. Raigeki. It's funny. They tried to play Raigeki against us there. Um, that is one of the cards from the Dark Magician pack. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> okay, I'm glad he didn't play a monster. Um, that is one of the cards from the Dark Magician pack that we really want is Raigeki, because literally all it does is destroys every monster on your opponent's side of the field, which is crazy good. It's so good. I think it was, like, instantly banned forever. Like, <laughs> for the entirety existence of Yu-Gi-Oh! because it was so good. Um, oh, Force Rain is very bad. Force Raider is quite, quite bad. Do you have a Monster Reborn? Do we have any really strong cards in our de in our graveyard? I don't think they do either. <sighs> Just that Slate Warrior. I can't play you in defense mode. That will wall Vorth Raider for now. But let's see. Oh my goodness. So it will not wall Vorth Raider anymore. They are going to have to pay a thousand life points to keep that on. Um, no, not yet. Kariba is going to be a last resort here. Dispel, that's pretty good, actually. Um, ooh, boy. I'm not sure what we can do here, kids. Um, we have our change of heart. We would really, really want to draw a Summon Skull. Um, 
so we could get his Force Raider off the off the field, but now he's got two. All right, not yet. Okay, we still have enough life points to survive this. I'll go ahead and do it now. Um, Penguin Soldier, that's not the worst thing to ever happen. Um, let's set you. I'm actually going to do a weird play here. Um, yes. I'm going to use Change of Heart to take his Vorse Raider. I'm going to use my his Vorse Raider to destroy his other Vorse Raider. So now they're both gone which I love to see. And that's gonna be it. Um, because hopefully he can tribute this. No, okay. This is fine because we're gonna be able to send both of these cards back to their hand. Perfect. All right, so now we've got a clean slate here. Um, that would have been useful earlier. Um, so now we can use this Monster Reborn, and there's still not a great card to pull out of the graveyard, but I will pull out Force Raider here. Um, and we can attack him directly. And this is gonna be hard for them to get over 1900, at least with a regular uh, four-star monster is gonna be hard, but we'll see if they have anything tricky. Yeah. Alright, Spellbinding Circle is great to have in the back pocket. So it can be tricky attacking face down defense position monsters like this, but okay. Glad to see Celtic Guardian there from earlier. I do know he still has that mass sorcerer in his hand, so that might be a card he plays face down. That's fine. Bring in Gazelle. Um, I don't know. I assume that's that Mass Sorcerer, yes. Um, and we can attack his life points directly here. So now, hopefully, next turn we can win. <laughs> Let's see. I am very okay with that for now. Uh, excuse me. Let's see. We'll keep Crazy Fish in our hand. Because if Vorse Raider can destroy this without a hitch... Okay. We good, baby. We good. That was very tense. <laughs> I Unless they have a Karibo. They don't. Oh. That is great. We really did not want to lose a card. So great to defeat these guys and get our special pack. Like, look at the cards that we can get out of here. Look at this. We got another Dark Witch. We got a Hyozenru. We got another Magician of Black Chaos. Catapult Turtle is pretty cool. Um, this isn't the, the huge haul that I was hoping for. But it's still okay. I'm still okay with this. It's good to get another Dark Witch. Fun fun fact here. Crush card in this game does not work. Just doesn't work. It's just a glitch in the game. Offer one Dark Monster as a tribute. Any opponent's monster with an attack of 1,500 or higher on the field in your opponent's hand or drawn in the next three turns is automatically destroyed. That card is so, so broken. <laughs> Um, but in this game, it literally doesn't work. So how about that? Um, well, great. Let me... Let's add our third Dark Witch to the... Oops, not that. <laughs> I will have to take that out. So we will add our third Dark Witch to the main deck here. Now, Aqua Snake will go back to the trunk. Um, and I'm gonna get rid of something 
else. I might get rid of Gazelle. I like Gazelle, so you can go to the side deck. Um, so, um, for now, that was a great place to stop. I know you, we'll get like more of those like urgent, urgent messages from the game as we go. Um, and I think there are four more of those rare hunters we have to defeat. Um, but I'm super stoked to kind of keep defeating them and get closer to the end of the game and keep getting great cards so we can just not, so we don't have nail biters like that all the time. And next time we are going to draw that Raigeki, I promise. Um, but thank you for joining me on this journey. Um, I love streaming the Yu-Gi-Oh! every now and then. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Have a great week. Um, be safe, be happy, be kind. <laughs> and peace, kids.